all right what's up guys so welcome back to another video today we are going to be recording demon fall and we're going to be ranking all the demon arts and breathing styles in the game in a tier list format so yeah before we actually get into the video i'll have a i have a link on the top right hand corner of the screen where you can click and it's gonna basically link my playlist of all the demon fall videos so you guys can look at all the showcases for the demon arts and breathing styles and possibly make a tier list of yourself or for yourself and yeah hope you guys enjoyed the video if you guys do of course be sure to like and subscribe and let's get straight into the video guys Alright, so let's get straight into the tier list. So basically, before I get into the tier list, I just want to say that take my tier list with a grain of salt because everybody's going to have their own perspective. They might have a little bias for their own breathing. Like I have a little bias for wind, but I'm not going to put that into account because I think wind is honestly not that strong in this game. But all right. So starting off, we have uh, water breathing. So water breathing. Let's see. Water breathing has a lot of combos, a lot of raw damage for their combos and they do lack in range so let's see water honestly we're not going to combine these breathings with um i guess some clans because water with commodo is deadly but honestly we're just going to rank uh water by themselves so water has a lot of good iframes iframes in this game are pretty important because um you can escape combos like crazy like you can literally escape purgatory or purgatory and um yeah i honestly would put water either a or b tier definitely not s tier because it does lack in the range department compared to some other breathing so i would put it either bottom a or top of b so i would put that around there for now we might adjust it later on but next let's move on to mist breathing mist breathing is really really strong in this game because it has range it has combos it has hit stun it has a lot of iframes because I don't know why, but they decided to give Mist more iframes. So yeah, honestly, Mist is definitely top A tier, maybe even bottom of S tier. Like it's crazy good breathing for um, PVP. And um, yeah, this tier list is probably gonna be more towards the PVP side because PVE, it's pretty easy. You just kill demons and just spam your breathing and it really doesn't matter too much for PVE. So next, let's move on to Thunder. So Thunder, I would probably have to put Thunder. Uh, Thunder's pretty weak, I'm gonna be honest. Thunder doesn't compare to, I guess, these two because Thunder has no iframes, I'm pretty sure, but it does have some auto locks. And um, let's see, I would probably put it around C tier. C tier, yeah, I would put it around C tier because it just, the damage is okay, the range is okay, but it's a lot of moves are blockable. And also there's a lot of auto locks. So I guess it's okay for like, if there's mobile users that are trying to play the game, I would probably recommend Thunder because there's a lot of auto locks. And um, yeah, so next we're gonna move on to, uh, let's see, flame breathing. Flame breathing, I honestly favor flame breathing because I think it's really, really good for starters. The flame procs are insane for um, final selection because as you saw on my stream, the demons love to block. So you can't do any damage while they're blocking except M2. So the flame procs definitely is gonna, you know, chip them down and do a lot of good damage. And also flame has a counter, which is not an iframe, but it's like below iframe, but it's still a counter and it has a lot of good raw damage and the burn is definitely very, very strong. So I would put this probably, yeah, probably um, bottom A tier or top of B tier. So I'll probably stick towards bottom of A tier because this is a really, really strong breathing compared to some other breathings over here or demon arts. Yeah, we're gonna, we're gonna do demon arts. Let's actually, let's actually do a demon art first. So let's do, uh, let's do Akaza. Akaza, honestly, again, it's kind of like the demon form of water because it has a lot of good combos, a lot of good raw damage, but it's just the range is just not that good. Not that good. So I would probably put it around B tier because the thing about water is that it has iframes, which um, I guess Akaza doesn't. So that's what separates those two uh, breathing arts slash uh, demon style. Demon, what? Breathing, what? Breathing style slash demon arts. Okay, let's move on. So next, let's move on to wind. So wind, man, I love the wind moves. They look, honestly, they are one of the best looking moves in the game, in my opinion. But I gotta rank wind pretty low. I think um I think a thunder a good thunder user could beat a good wind user because wind there's only one thing good about wind and that is that you can like double jump and like kind of hide your animations, which is very important for wind because wind's charge ups are just way too long. Also, Arrow said that he buffed wind a few days ago, so I don't know if uh, if I'm supposed to put him a little higher. But as of my knowledge, when I made my wind videos, it was pretty much. 
I think one of the weaker breathings. It doesn't have, um, what is it called? A lot of stuff is blockable. A lot of its stuff is blockable. So just hold F against the wind user and you should be set. And um, next, let's move on to, let's move on to Yorichi. Yorichi spec, man, this is another breed, bro. The Yorichi spec is honestly one of the most coolest spec in the game. I remember when I was like, um, what was it? I was kind of under... I don't, I don't know how to put it into words, but I was kind of disappointed into... Uh, I was kind of disappointed about the Yorichi spec because it only had like two, three moves. But when I hopped onto the account and I saw um, Dark's combos, man, this thing one shots and he's getting buffed. Yorichi spec is getting buffed. He's getting more moves as the game progresses. So we got to... We gotta put that in S tier. It has a literally a full one shot combo. But yeah, I will probably put this in S tier. I might even have to put Mist in S tier because Mist it has iframes, has combos, and just like I don't even know if uh I guess this spec has that many. Man, I think I think Yorichi would be the Mist user though. But the thing is, Mist user can just iframe out of some combos that Yorichi does. So I would have to. Yeah, I think this is I think this is the right choice. I'm gonna put Mist and Yorichi around the same level because Yorichi versus Mist would be a very fun fight because um miss can just i free my the combos that yurichi has and yurichi has pretty long cooldowns on his moves so that would be a definitely interesting fight they would probably be head to head and um next let's move on to string breathing actually no let's do dark let's do dark thunder first so dark thunder it has range it has decent range and it, its damage is okay i would probably put it around akaza level because these two have their own strengths and weaknesses as akaza is really close range and really combo oriented while dark thunder is kind of you know not really combo oriented but it's kind of just you know you just spam moves and it has decent range so around b tier these two around b tier and next is move on to string so i have yet to make a video on string so let me actually pull up a showcase and we can you know react to it all right so i've been watching bait lord's video on the showcase i'll have the link in the description below so you guys can check it out but string looks like it's honestly kind of like the uh what do you call it the demon variant of wind because a lot of moves are blockable it has decent combos compared to win so i think it's a little better than wind because it has decent combos but the thing is a lot of its moves are blockable just like wind um wind does have more raw damage so these two are kind of i guess head to head because um the moves are just nothing too special because they're literally just all blockable and one of its moves is just super super slow um yeah yeah it's just not it does not look it's not looking too good so far just like what everybody said they told me that it wasn't it wasn't that strong like look right there when the pull happened he got stuck behind the rock so mm, yeah string is definitely not too strong let's get back to the tier list okay so after watching that video i would probably have to put string around the same level as wind because it's just definitely it's 100 not as strong as akaza or um what do you call it dark thunder because it's just a lot of moves are blockable and there's only one two non-blockable moves i'm pretty sure and one of them is just super slow really hard to land and the other one you got to get really really close kind of like wins um that claw move the first win move and yeah this is my tier list what do you guys think you guys can go check out the playlist on the top right hand corner of the screen make a tier list of your own and also if you guys enjoyed this video of course be sure to like and subscribe and peace out